three more suffixes. So remember, a suffix just occurs at the end of a word. And a word in Hebrew is what's called a root, a binyan, a root. And you build around that root word. You have prefixes, and then you have suffixes built around that root word. The root word stays the same. It's pronounced a little differently with each form, but it's the letters that stay the same. <coughs> All right, so three more suffixes. I'd like for you guys to write this down. So you've got the root here, the root, which I'm going to write as a dash, okay? And then to the left of the root is the suffix, okay? If you have a, yeah, it says you're going to write down. If you have a yud and a mem so feet, that makes the root, which would be a noun in this case, masculine, plural. Okay? So that's pronounced with a chirek, im. Everybody say im. Okay? That makes the root noun masculine, plural. Yeah. The suffix is yud mem sophie. That's correct. So what's the, um, the, the... It's just so that we can pronounce it. We put the little hirek in there. So remember, in Biblical Hebrew, um, the original Hebrew book, the scrolls, were written just with the letters and with spaces between the words. Um, there are no vowel markings. There are no punctuation markings. There are no dashes, no dots, nothing. It's the words and uh, the spaces between the words. The rabbis have had to figure out, and the biblical scholars have had to figure out what, where the verse begins, where the verse ends, and the meaning within the context. So when you see any vowel markings, that's for us in order to pronounce it. It's not in the actual original Bible uh, scrolls. Okay, so in this case, it's traditionally, if you see the yud mem at the end of a word, and it's a, it's a noun, it makes it masculine, plural, and it's traditionally pronounced with a chirek, so pronounced e. Okay? The next one, here's the root. Then you've got a vav o and a tav. Okay, that's feminine plural. Now, okay, so and that's pronounced oat. oat. Say oat. 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 All right. So when you see a noun as the root, and it has the vav o and the tav at the end, pronounced oat, it makes the noun feminine plural. Okay. Then, very frequently, you'll see a tav at the end of a word, and very frequently, it'll make it the root plus of. So the tav at the end is sort of like the sheen at the beginning. Sheen means of, if it's used as a prefix. The tav means of when it's used frequently when it's used as a suffix. So you'll see in the Bible, or in the Ten Commandments, you'll see sheshet. Sheshet. The word shesh is the root, which means six. And sheshet means six of. Is this still part of the Tav one? It is. Okay, so I'm just giving you an example of this particular tav. All right? So sheshet means six of. So frequently, not always, there are always exceptions. That's the one thing about the Bible. <laughs> there are always exceptions to the rules. Okay? Um, but frequently, when you see the tav at the end, it means of. Okay? Sheshet, your name's of six of days. Six of days. Yes. Yeah. Next, we're going to get into the names of God.